Welcome to this introduction video that shows the integration of Blue Prism RPA and One Identity Safeguard. In this short demonstration, you will see how you can enhance the security of your Blue Prism deployment by using an external enterprise privilege account management solution for password vaulting and session management. With the evolution of robotic process automation technology, digital workers, sometimes called robots, are being used to automate business processes. Traditionally, privileged credentials are stored directly in the credential manager of the RPA software to enable the robots to perform privileged activities across multiple systems. The Blue Prism credential manager is encrypted. However, there is no way to automate password rotation or track when and where credentials were used. With One Identity Safeguard, you can automate, control, and secure the process of granting privileged access to robots. Passwords can be automatically rotated according to your compliance requirements. All activity is tracked and can easily be reviewed to see which individual or robot has had access to a system and when they had it. Now let's take a deeper look into how these two technologies work together. In the first step, the login agent process is launched in a resource PC to directly initiate an interactive Windows session using the username and domain password like input parameters. On the right side of the screen, you can follow the login agent service authenticating itself to One Identity Safeguard and checking out its own Active Directory password from the Secure Credential Vault in order to perform the login. On the left side of the screen, you can see the robot starting the Blue Prism login agent. The login is complete, and the resource PC is now ready for the Blue Prism 1 robot to use. The resource PC can now run other Blue Prism processes under the user context. You can see the robot initiating a new process and starting the browser on the resource PC. The robot needs to log into Facebook. Even before the web page loads, the robot is already authenticating to Safeguard in order to access the Facebook credentials. To check out the password from the vault, the robot uses the API key that has been assigned to the credential it requires. Every robot user is required to use its own certificate. This will prevent the compromise of all digital worker services using the same service account if one service account is compromised. After retrieving the password of the Blue Prism Facebook account, our robot can log in and make the Facebook post in the name of the company. Sometimes Blue Prism developers need to access the resource PCs in the name of the robot during the implementation of robot activities. Our Blue Prism developer logs in to Safeguard and submits a session request on the resource PC named BP Desktop 2 with the BP5 robot account. This is an auto-approved request, so the developer can immediately launch the RDP session towards the resource PC. The developer just needs to type SG to initiate the audited RDP session through One Identity Safeguard. Meanwhile, the BP5 password is kept unexposed in the secure vault. Securing robotic credentials is paramount to reducing the risk exposed to your business and your customers. For further information about the integration, please visit the corresponding white paper.